Black and White Network supporters, make sure you check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. Link in the description. Use promo code USA First, all one word. USA First, all one word. 25% off now. Well, guys, we're going to be talking about the crisis at the southern border. Texas has been overrun with illegal immigrants coming into this country. And Joe Biden is doing nothing about it. The border is wide open. So the state of Texas is forced to actually take actions into their own hands. And we don't want our communities overrun with illegals in this country. These people should not be here. They did not come in legally. There is a difference, folks, between legal immigration and illegal immigration. I am all for legal immigration into this country. But once you actually cross that line, you want to do it the wrong way? Skip the line? I am completely against that. And you should be actually really just turn around immediately when you're caught. I believe that these people that are caught illegally, illegally in the country should be taken down to Mexico again and say, hey, you can go back. And if you do it again, guess what? We're going to lock you up in solitary and then deport you again. This country really, really does need to actually clamp down on illegal immigration into this country. And it's not just people, folks. It's also illegal drugs coming into this country, namely like fentanyl. Well, Greg Abbott decided, you know, he would actually bus these illegals to Washington, D.C. So Beijing Biden can actually take care of these people. Also, folks, he he bus these people over to the sanctuary city of New York City. You know, these uh, leftist uh, liberals out there saying that uh, what Texas is doing is wrong. They should just let these people in. Well, Greg Abbott said, all right, I'll let them in, but I'm going to send them to your city. And now, folks, the Democrats have really exposed themselves as um, New York City Mayor Eric Adams. Not a fan of these illegals actually being in his city. Wow. Who didn't actually see that coming, folks? Well, Greg Abbott actually has a new city on his hit list. And that is Lori Lightfoot's Chicago. I cannot wait to actually see her response to this, folks. But over here on the Daily Wire, Governor Abbott drops off first busload of illegals. I cleaned it up for uh, the Daily Wire here in Chicago because these people are not migrants. Migrants come in the right way. These people are illegals. But it says here, Governor Greg Abbott said Wednesday, his administration bust the first group of illegals north to Chicago in response to the border crisis that has overwhelmed Texan communities. Abbott said he would add the Windy City to the list of drop off locations, which have included Washington, D.C. and New York City. He argued that it would provide, quote, much needed relief to the state's border towns overrun with a massive influx of people Pouring over the southern border. Quote, Beijing Biden's inaction at our southern border continues putting the lives of Texans and Americans at risk and is overwhelming our communities, Abbott said in a press release. Abbott said he looks forward to watching Chicago's sanctuary city services serve the illegal aliens and the response from the city's mayor, Lori Lightfoot who, quote, loves to tout the responsibility of her city to welcome all regardless of their legal status. Now, these illegals, man, they may actually want to think twice about um, actually coming into Texas illegally because you can actually get shipped over to Chicago, which they actually call Chirac, because Chicago is probably the deadliest city in America. And Lori Lightfoot does nothing whatsoever about crime over there. So any of you illegals down there in Guatemala or any place like that, think twice about actually crossing that southern border illegally. Quote, Chicago is a welcoming city and as such has collaborated across various departments and agencies to ensure we greet them with dignity and respect. A spokesperson for the mayor's office said in a statement, as a city, we are doing everything we can to ensure These illegals and their families can receive shelter, food, and most importantly, protection. The statement added that Chicago welcomes hundreds of um, 
uh, migrants every year and provides much needed assistance. Quote, unfortunately, Texas Governor Greg Abbott is without any shame or humanity. It continues. So they want to take a shot at Greg Abbott because truly, folks, they don't want these people coming to their city. They don't. Quote, ever since he put these racist practices, here we go, guys, of expulsion in place. We have been working with our community community partners to ready the city to receive these individuals. CNN reported that a state government uh, spreadsheet it obtained through a Freedom of Information uh, Act request showed that Texas has spent more than $12 million on wind transportation charter services that have bus illegals to Washington and New York since April. So this is definitely a burden on the uh, Texas uh, taxpayer. Even more of a reason to vote these Democrats out. Vote them out. I believe that Texas actually really should just be turning these people back. If Joe Biden and his administration don't want to actually enforce the law when it actually comes to uh, immigration in this this country, why should Texas? I mean, it's our border. I believe the border belongs to Texans, not the federal government. So we should actually be able to take charge of that. But I see what Greg Abbott is doing because we're going to see the hypocrisy yet again when it actually comes to Lori Lightfoot's Chicago when they're overrun, just like New York City. Eric Adams doesn't want those people there. And then Lori Lightfoot, same thing. But, you know, maybe Lori Lightfoot will be a little bit more welcoming considering how she just um, accepts all the violence out there in Chicago. What a dumpster fire of a city, guys. What a complete dumpster fire. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans. I'm wondering now what is going to be the next city on Greg Abbott's hit list. I believe he should really just flood uh, Chicago for right now. But eventually, guys, this is really going to have to stop. The border is definitely going to have to um, be put under control. And Republicans, midterm elections, you guys in the House are still um, projected to win. I believe you guys need to impeach Joe Biden over this uh, border crisis. This man is not enforcing U.S. immigration laws. He's not doing it. And every Republican should actually vote for impeachment. And if it actually does get over to trial in the Senate, every single Republican needs to vote to convict Beijing Biden. Now, will they actually get a conviction? I'm not really sure because um, it seems like Mitch McConnell definitely doesn't want um. Republicans to actually uh, take over the majority in the Senate. And of course, you, you're going to need every single Republican. And also, by the way, you're going to need Democrats on board, too, because I don't believe that in the Senate, the Republicans will have a super majority to actually get the votes. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time.